What up, friends? Welcome back to Bent Dis. It's been a bit. It's been like three months. I've been not busy. I've been playing video games, going to interviews, and pretty much just, I guess, living my best life is what people keep telling me. <laughs> I don't necessarily feel that's true. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been doing. Uh, currently making some lunch, and I would like to just give you guys an update. I know I said I was going to be posting like Twitch highlights. Um, anyways, I know I said I was going to be doing Twitch highlights, uh, and the problem with that is some of the games lately that I've been playing have been very computer or processor intensive. And it's been really, really bugging me. And so, what I'd like to do is I'd like to get a new computer. That way I can record and stream at the same time. One problem I'm having is that because of my processor getting bogged down, my frame rate is dropping within the stream as well as uh, when I'm playing. So, that's been kind of a problem. Um... The other bit is that downloading your VODs from Twitch, if any of that stutter happens, that is captured in the VOD because that is the data that Twitch collects as well. And because the frame rate being dropped means the quality of the video is lower than what I would like it to be. And I'm all about quality in regards to like my videos, um, even for myself because I just I like watching like, crisp, clean videos. Yeah, that's and that's just me. If you don't care, great. If you do care, I totally get it. I totally get it. And so that's why I'm trying to not put out those bad quality videos. Um, but yeah, so that's that's kind of the update on Twitch. Um, update on I guess schedule. So before I talk about my schedule on Twitch, one thing is I got a job. Yay! So I'm excited about that. Um, it's being assistant admin again for a company. I'm not gonna say their name um, at this point in time, but I'm really excited to work for them. Um, they're in the entertainment industry. Uh, I will say that much. And so it's a company that I've um, bought services from for a very, very long time. So the fact that I actually get to work for them now, um, I'm really, really excited about that. So hopefully this turns out well. It is a contract to hire three months. So I will be working there for three months on contract and then hopefully going full time with them, which is exciting. Um, so along those lines, that means I'll start making money again and hopefully being able to um, put that money towards getting upgrades for my PC or building a new PC and providing better quality streams for you guys. So on top of that, with the update that I will be working again, so 8 to 5, um, hour commute again, because I am an hour away from the office, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is, um, and again, I'm really excited to be working for this company, really excited. So, I'm planning on streaming Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays is my plan, so I'm going to take Monday, or Monday, Wednesday, Sunday off to kind of just be able to work on either editing videos or um, doing stuff for stream, like making backgrounds or verifying my overlays. I want to start learning how to animate to try and get some cool like transition screens as well as like, um, you know, starting soon and the ending screens going. It's kind of my goal is to have something better. I have pictures in my head but, as always, I'm not the best with art, and so trying to put that onto paper and learn how to animate it has been quite difficult. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of the game plan right now for the schedule. Um, let's see, so I've got the job, contract to hire, 8 to 5. Um, Time-wise, in regards to when I'm streaming, the uh, plan is to do 8 p.m. to 11 p.m., Mountain Standard Time, and then 
hopefully get six hours of sleep and then go to work and do it all over again the next day. Um, but yeah, uh, not sure what games we'll be playing. I've kind of just been going through my Steam library trying to finish that lately, uh, which has been fun. It's been fun getting to play these old games that I purchased that I really wanted to play, but just didn't get around to playing them at the time because I was so focused on playing World of Warcraft, which unfortunately I might be getting back into because I think this Hides of Vengeance thing is finally wrapping up, so that would be nice to finish. Um, let's see, is there anything else I need to talk about? I think that's pretty much it. I mean, mentally, I've gone through a couple dips of depression while I've been unemployed. Um, overall, though, pretty solid right now, I think. I hope. We'll see what working does when we're out. But, I mean, just based on the conversations I had with um, the hiring manager, the HR manager, it seems like it's going to be a really fun company to work with. And it seems like everyone's really, uh, like, easygoing and upbeat. And the other thing is, it's not like this position was um, created because someone left. This position was created because they are in a period of growth, which is awesome to hear. Um, so they're trying to expand their teams and essentially grow as their company grows to be able to support um, all the things that need to be supported. Like, I believe my team, man, my team might be like 13 people total uh, with a combination of, um, you know, network admins, system admins, and I think there's like a security admin, database admin, um, all that stuff. So like the basics. Uh, but yeah, the team's pretty small right now, but it sounds like they are definitely trying to grow and make the team much bigger, which will be great, because that's kind of one thing that I've talked about a lot, right, with IT, is it's a necessity now, and you need the teams to support it. So hopefully, we see that trend more and more uh, as time goes on. But we're also at a point where, you know, we've been hearing about a lot of company layoffs lately, so I guess we'll see where the market goes. But that's neither here or there because I'm not an expert on it. Uh, I just read the news and follow with the trends. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say. Um, come hang out on Twitch. Throw me a follow on Twitch. If you've been following on Twitch and you enjoy that, um, consider subscribing here and on Twitch. Whatever you feel fancy for. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep on the grind with Twitch because I've been having a lot of fun doing it. Um, and one thing that I would really, really love to do is I've been noticing the community is kind of growing a bit. So I'm making a lot of friends, people are swinging, hanging out, chatting, uh, which has been great. Because that's one of the hardest things to do when you start Twitch is that there's no one to chat with. You're kind of just there playing a game, talking to yourself because you want to catch someone's interest, right? And keep them on board and keep them, um, you know, watching and coming and hanging out and all that stuff. Um, so one thing that I would love to do as a community at Figure is on Saturdays do party games. And I would love to do like Jackbox Party Pack, uh, play Mario Kart with a bunch of people, or you know just any party games that we could do multiplayer online, which would be really fun. If we even have like a huge group of people that all have Overwatch, we could do like custom Overwatch games, or even just custom FPS games, or you know whatever custom games we can pull off with multiple people. So that'd be really fun. Uh, I've also been thinking about doing um, uh, Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes by letting chat walk me through, or at least getting into Discord and walking me through disarming the bomb, which I think would be really, really fun to do. Um, so if you guys have any interest in any of this stuff, party games or helping with the dom, or dom bomb defusal, um, let me know down in the comments or swing by and hang out on Twitch. I'd really appreciate it. As always, you guys are awesome, so be excellent to each other, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!